Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So listen, here's what I want to do today. I hope you're well. Um, <laughs> I want to do, I want to play a, a little game. Um, with you and it's a way to kind of discover new products that were sent to me, new products that I bought, new things that I want to try. So we're gonna do this by playing a little game that um, we are calling Keep It, Fix It or Dump It. So I'm gonna look at all these products. Are we gonna keep them? Do we like them? Are they good? Do they need fixing slightly? Like, um, uh, would I, you know, rather it was this texture or this shade or, or you know, something like that. And dump it just means it's shit. So, <laughs> or maybe I have products like it already. So just before we get into it, I do want to say I got this idea from, it wasn't a beauty channel, it was a podcast. <laughs> and it's called the Disney Nerds Podcast. And they basically do a podcast about Disney World and, and Disney stuff. And um, this was from their podcast and it's on YouTube. And this is the episode that they called Keep It, Fix It, Dump It. And I thought that's a great idea to kind of, not only in my head, not to stock up on makeup and, and just keep everything, but to go through everything and, and review everything in a good way. <laughs> I don't know, I have to explain it. You get it. You've seen stuff like this before. Okay, just before we get into that today, if this is your first time here on my channel, thank you so much for being here. My name's Robert. I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and also in real life. And it's my goal to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then please consider subscribing. And if you are familiar with my content and you like my makeup tips and tricks and I'm not going to call them hack. Then please follow me on TikTok where I upload daily little tips, little bits for you all. Um, and it's really easy to speak to you all there. So um, go ahead. I need a drink. Okay, so we have a few things to go through today. Um, some I bought myself, some are gifted. I put this, this key. <laughs> up here for you all and the pictures will show up throughout the video. If you ever forget what the symbols mean, you can go ahead and look down in the description box. But basically it is either, I don't know what order I put them in, gifted, purchased or ad. There's no ads in this, so you won't be seeing that, but it'll be gifted, purchased. Okay, let's do the, my skin's all prepped, my skin's all done. So should we start with eyebrows? I have been happily overwhelmed with the amount of eyebrow releases recently. I think eyebrows are, they go in and out of trend, don't they? Like it's like they, like you have to use this pomade to get these really thick brows and then everyone kind of forgets about brows, but we're doing brows, you know, using soap and suddenly everyone's like, okay, let's jump on that and do some soap brows. So let's start off with our first product today. I have used this already over on TikTok and I had a little bit of an issue with it, right? Oh, I got the clue on. The brow soaps that I use, I usually don't like to mix water with them because my brows are so thick and heavy and, and just, just do what they want to do. I usually have to use the wax dry and then melt it through my brows. Um, however, that wasn't the case with a ColourPop one. This is a clear one. I haven't used this one yet. I actually used the tinted one, which is this one. You can see there's still water in the mirror. But look, ugh, my brows are always a mess. I feel like I'm always apologizing. But listen, I if I want to keep them in shape, I have to thread them about three times a week. And I'm not doing it. I'm not going to beauty standards myself. <laughs> no, it's because I'm lazy. Okay, so, however, I did find water with this one did work better. So I'm just going to spray water just directly onto the wax itself. Oh, oh, you know what? I was going to try this. So... I, instead of like a brush like this, a brow brush, I'm actually gonna take one of my favorite brushes from my Kitco, and this is my, I think it's just called my, my brush to brow. It's basically like a toothbrush. Is that fluff? No. Because one thing I did find out when I was doing this with the spoolie is that you have to roll it round and do all this kind of stuff, because the way I like to use those is to physically roll it through the brow. And one, oh, yeah, that's not, yeah. <laughs> One thing I did like about this is it wasn't as dry as a wax. It wasn't as, I don't wanna say waxy as a wax because that sounds dumb, but it wasn't. It wasn't as waxy as a wax, but it also isn't as liquidy as like a gel, a brow gel. It's kind of at somewhere in between, but this almost like toothbrush brush, just really, <laughs> just really allows you to get to every, listen, I'm a little bit, I think off with me today. It is, what's the time? It's two o'clock in the afternoon, okay? And this is, I have just started not working because I was editing a video, but I've just started filming. Usually I film at about nine o'clock in the morning and I would finish in about an hour's time. So I feel like, you know, when you arrive late for work and you feel like everyone's looking at you and you're like, like what like what do I do? You feel lost? I feel a bit like that today. So sorry if I'm a bit everywhere. Look, just look at that. Mmm, look how brushed up they are. And you know what? They feel 
tight. They feel tight against the skin. It's almost like I've done a clay mask on my eyebrows. <laughs> so I'm just gonna actually take a brush. You know how I like my scar to show through. So here's the deal. I usually um, would do, I would do my brow wax and then I would use a brow pen to kind of go through the brows because nothing really draws. Oh fuck, I forgot to do something. I wanted to try the new Beauty Bay ones. You know what, try the Beauty Bay pencil because I know the ColourPop pencil works really nicely with this wax. So I'm gonna try the, the Beauty Bay one. They also released some new brow gels and some brow pencils. Ah, I haven't opened this yet. Look how skinny that is. Yes, we like that. We like that a lot. And this is the shade, I think it's Espresso. See, and here's why I like to do the pencil after the actual brow product because, um, I find I brush, I brush them so much that all the brow product completely disappears. Yeah, that's good, that's nice. Should we just keep them kind of fluffy today and not do anything too, like, um, drawn in? I like this, you know, I really, really like this combination. That's not pencil there, by the way, that's just where I haven't sorted out my eyebrows and they're messy. I feel like, I feel like brands are very much leaning towards the more fluffier side of brows now, which I quite like. I appreciate any kind of brow, to be honest with you, as long as they're groomed nice, I think it's fine. Okay, so let's use some kind of eyes a little bit more, um, <laughs> guys, I'm so sorry, but it's gonna be purple. You'll see why, because of the eyeshadow palette. So I have the Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer from Juvia's Place. So it comes in three shades. Shades, shade one is like pure white almost. Shade two is like, almost like my tone, a little bit deeper. And shade three is more of a deeper tone. So there's a good kind of all round coverage there. I'm gonna go for shade two and I'm gonna use this to carve out my brows, but to also use as my eye base today, my eye primer. Now I am very skeptical of like these liquid, like squeezy tube ones because there's a certain eye primer that I absolutely despise. For a few reasons, I had a uh, personal reason when dealing with that brand as a customer, not as a influencer. And because I just didn't like the product, I feel like it was one of those really overhyped ones that just like get really overhyped, everyone believes it and everyone rushes out to buy it and it's actually kind of shit. And now it's too late to say anything. <laughs> it's a glorified concealer basically. So I tend to go for more of like the liquidy ones that are a little bit more clear, like the, um, Rare Beauty one or the Urban Decay Priming Potion, the purple one. Or if they're gonna be a fluid like this, I want them to be really dry. But Juvia's Place is a brand I very much like in terms of um, the products, the pigmentation, the quality is very nice. So what, did I just choose the wrong one? I just used one instead of two. Did I say I was gonna use two? I can't remember. Okay, let's use one up here anyway and we'll use two on the um, lids. Now, here's the thing with primers. So many brands show you them using a ridiculous amount, but that's instantly gonna crease. So I put some on the back of my hand here and I'm just gonna take some and then almost blot it away and then blot it onto my lip, blot, pack it onto my lid. We're not trying to get coverage, remember? You don't, it isn't the more you use, the more the product lasts or the longer the product lasts. You could use like a tiny amount and be absolutely fine. Goes on really smoothly, really nicely, so that's impressive. Who um, watched part two of the Selena series on Netflix? I cried so much, okay. So our eyeshadow palette, this is Bottle Blonde by Trixie Cosmetics. Oh, <laughs> um, I've never tried an eyeshadow formula before ever, so this is the first time. I, it's gonna be purple because I have no other choice, really. <laughs> so, but I bought, I did try to get the other ones, but they sold out. Um, me and time zones aren't quite, um, you know. So it's the first, it's the first time trying this formula. So I just wanna use a brush that I know I can, but I know I really like just to start off with. And let's go into purple shampoo, which is this shade right here. Ooh, that comes off pigmented with just that small amount of product. Amazing, nice. It's very rarely, a, um, like a pastel shade would work um, so well. <laughs> Especially a pastel purple. 
you know, we went through that phase of releasing pastel palettes. Was it last summer? Or was it this year? Wait, what year are we in? Whenever. And everyone was, was releasing these pastel palettes and some of them weren't so great because the just the quality and the pigmentation and the colour payoff just was terrible. So they are quite difficult to do. So this is very nice. Really nice, actually. Oh, I'm meant to be doing like a, a thing, aren't I? <laughs> what, is, what were the things then? Keep it what? I forgot. Sorry. So keep it for the Colourpop Brow Waxes, 100%. Buy Beauty Bay's Eyebrow Pencil, keeping that. For eye base, I'm just gonna see how we work with eyeshadow first to decide, um, and same with the eyeshadow palette. Remind remind me I have a theme. Yeah, I really like this. I really, really like this formula. It's like still, can you see there's still a lot more pigmentation where I initially applied the product, and it's blending out nicely as well. Now, usually with pastel shades, when you go to blend them out, everything just disappears, and you kind of get left with a wash of colour. The eye base is sitting quite well. I can see some potential creasing just in the um, socket, but that's fine, because we're just gonna, we'll just do a little bit of powder, as long as it's not like, creasing, creasing, you know? I love it. I really, really like this, this um, palette. I really like this formula. Maybe because it's purple, it makes it a little bit easier for me to like, but I know it's beautiful. Let's go for me day. I had a me day yesterday. Yesterday was meant to be my filming day, but I woke up and I just didn't feel so great. So I've been on like a diet recently, not anything crazy, just like healthy eating, you know? trying to be healthy. And yesterday I was like, I can't be on this diet. I'm sick. I need food. So I ate, not even joking with you, through, uh, throughout the whole day, not in one sitting, I ate a loaf of bread. <laughs> a whole loaf of bread. And I'm telling you, like right now, my body's telling me today that that wasn't the right thing to do. But bread's just so um versatile, you know? Oh, I love these shades. This is so nice. The colours as well, this is going to sound really stupid, but the colours blend really nicely into each other. And you're probably thinking, well, yeah, because, you know, it's the same formula. But in a lot of um, eyeshadow palettes that you find, the, the colours are really patchy. And when you try to build one on top of the other, it completely disappears. So let's go into I Got Bangs, which is this, uh, this one. And let's deepen up this outside corner a little bit. Yeah, I like this. I'm having a good time. I like this a lot. I washed my brushes. I can't remember if this, I've said this already, but I cleaned my brushes with this brush cleaner. The smell is vile, vile, vile. It smells like um, travel sickness. You know, when you're in a car and you're trying not to throw up and you're looking out the window and all you can smell is like um, car air freshener and like, like sh shoes, you know? What's going on here? What am I doing here? We will take polish, which is this one. Let's just do that right up here. Oh, this looks like a finger one. I think this is definitely, it's very hardly pressed, this one. So it's definitely for a finger application. Okay, so let's take blowout just here and let's deepen, or lash lift, no blowout. Let's just deepen this area here. But on a really skinny brush, I'm gonna take lash lift just here and deepen things up a little bit, literally just by the lash line. Now I don't have a new concealer to share, so I'm just gonna do under the eyes with concealer and then jump back into the eyes because I wanna finish up underneath. Okay, so let's go back into I Got Bangs, which is this one here. You know something in England, right? Bangs is a fringe, you get a fringe cut in, but recently everyone's been saying bangs and it just sounds really strange. There's some American words that just don't sound right in an English accent. Okay, I'm gonna take what's left off blowout um, on this brush. I'm not gonna add any more. I don't know why I just tapped it off. I'm just gonna press that along here too. Taking it quite far down because we're tired today. And then we'll take the smallest amount of lash lift and just go right across the lash line here. You know what, there's a shade called Peroxide, which just looks like pure white. So I'm just gonna grab a small, tiny, tiny brush. All right, nice. Okay, just to finish up the eyes, actually let's finish, let's round this up. So this is a really, really nice palette. I'm gonna be really picky and I'm keeping this, but I also wanna fix it. And here's the, the, the one fix. This color, polished, um, 
I think the formula needs a little bit of, of tweaking. Beautiful colour and beautiful formula when you initially touch it, but I can kind of feel that it's so, it's almost really densely packed. You really, really need to push, and I find like, if the colour's getting more pressed and pressed, you know when you have an eyeshadow and it's almost like you can't go back in for more, I would love that colour to be a bit more bolder and a bit more of a statement colour on the lid. But it's fine, it still looks good, it still adds a little bit of shine, and I absolutely love, love, Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. I absolutely love the other formulas in the palette, and the colours and the shades, I think they're stunning. So very, very happy with that, and um, yeah, I would absolutely buy more releases, that is amazing, cool. Now, I'm not sure whether KVD saw my um, review on the Good Apple Foundation, but they very kindly sent me a few shades of the Locket Foundation. Now, this one is apparently much better for oilier skins. So when I um, used the other one, it was a little bit like, okay, this isn't very nice. <laughs> so they sent me this one, which I am actually very excited to try. So a big thank you to them. And they also sent me the infamous brush. So we'll be using that also. But on the other side... I also have Luna Beauty's new liquid and powder, <coughs> multiple per- <coughs> I don't know what I'm choking on, multiple purpose sponges. So we're gonna give that a go on one side as well. Now, um, the shades, I'm hoping these are okay. I'm gonna try shade, war no, light, what? Light 45 warm. It is nice packaging. I do like a good packaging. Now I'm, I'm taking a bit, but I'm also like getting rid of most of it. Cool, very nice. I am gonna mix in a tiny bit of medium 52.5 neutral. Actually, I wonder if that's just my shade. It's a bit yellow, but let's go for that. You know what this is reminding me of, right? I, um, again, on TikTok, <laughs> can't stop talking about it now. Um, I tried that, tra that um, hack where people are like mixing their powder face powder with their foundation and it honestly gave the strangest mattest finish but it was almost like I couldn't move it like it wouldn't move on the skin at all it turned to like and set like a clay so this reminds me of the way that finished how matte it was but <laughs> look at that color there. my skin is so weird at the moment with shade but I feel like I can actually what is that color We'll, we'll sort it out. I feel like I can actually move this. You know what, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use one of the beauty blenders now. I do like brushes like this, but I not with this foundation maybe. You know, I know it's probably for that foundation. So they're slightly different. So the so we have this one for more precision. This will be nice for um, powders, things like that. And then we have the one with a rounder base here. I'm gonna use this one. Actually, I'm gonna do both. So I just wanted to use the sponge because I just wanna sort out the texture of this slightly. I don't like full, full coverage, so I want it to be a little bit more natural with it. The brush that um, KVD very kindly sent was a little bit too heavy for me. But if you do like full coverage, then go for it. That looks so much better. Okay, cool. <laughs> so yellow. I am so yellow. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. I'm happy. I'm happy with the texture of her foundation. Um, the brush in use with it, maybe not my favorite thing ever. Yeah, the sponges kind of saved the day there. So, perfect. So, let's, um, let's, yes. So, the KVD Locket Foundation, I'm gonna keep. I really, actually really like it. The way it's sitting on my skin at the moment is really, really nice. I'm just gonna keep them aside here to remind me to kind of revisit it at the end of the video and see how I'm feeling then. Going back to the Juvia's Place eye primers, very happy. The eyeshadow blended really nicely, no creasing. We're all good, so keep those. The Luna Beauty Beauty Sponges, I really, really like these. They're really soft and spongy. I know it's, it's gonna sound really fucking stupid. They're soft and spongy, but have you ever used a beauty sponge and it's like hitting yourself in the face with like a wet brick, you know? With with sponges, it's so nice to have that bounce like this does. I can feel my finger through this other end, whereas there's some other ones where it's a bit like, and it's just too much. It's just way too much. So these have a really nice balance. So keep, of course. Oh, I was gonna go in my eye with the Elf and um, Jenna Atkin Zero Effort Liner, which is just a really nice pencil liner. What's this? This is brown. Black. Um, this whole collection is really nice as well, actually. Oh, that's really soft for a pencil. That was really, really nice and soft. That was really nice. It's been a long time since I just used a really nice, nice pencil, you know? 
Okay, so next up is Be Perfect Cosmetics, The Perfect Storm. And this is a bronze, bronze shape and illuminate for, for face palette. Oh, nice. So I'm looking at this bronzer and that highlighter isn't gonna do anything for me, but this powder might. So let's try that powder under the eyes, the tiniest amount. You know how I feel about powder under the eye. Yeah, I, it looks kind of a bit brighter, a bit smoother. Yeah, cute, okay. And I do wanna try, the bronzer does look a little bit orangey for me. Let's try it anyway, fuck it. So I have some brushes here, which I've been meaning to use forever. I actually have a whole set. These are brushes by Joy. Um, and there is a foundation brush in here. There's like an angled thinner brush. That would be really nice to do my foundation, actually. I have an angled um, bronzer brush, which I'm gonna use now. And I love, love, love these kind of brushes for uh, foundation. Let's keep that right there. And this small, that'll be really nice for like a cream blusher. Okay, so the bronzer is called Heat Wave. So let's use that one. And I'm using the Brushes by Joy 004. Okay, so that bronze is really pigmented, so uh, just a warning there, be careful. Um, okay, fine. I, very pigmented, really nicely pigmented, quite strong. However, I'm looking at the shades and I actually don't think they're for me. This will be stunningly beautiful on a deeper skin tone. That blush is really nice. So I'm actually gonna dump this one. I don't, I, I can't see myself using any of the other colors. Um, the powder under the eyes is actually really nice, just a, a very minimal amount. But other than that, I don't think it's really for me. So I don't know if you saw my recent like um, decluttering video, but all the palettes that I can't donate just yet, I'm kind of holding on to because a lot of places aren't taking even like tiny used palettes. But actually I can give this to a makeup artist friend who needs um, new makeup. A lot of makeup artists haven't been able to work over the, um, the COVID, over the you know the last year for health and safety reasons, so they've had to get rid of a lot of their kit. So this will come in really handy for somebody who might not be able to afford to build up their whole kit again. I was actually going to put on some blush, but I don't think I dare because <laughs> I think it's way too much color. All oh, right, Sigma. Come on, Sigma. Sigma Ambience Collection. Now this Sigma are very good to me. They send so many amazing amazing things and i hardly ever ever get a chance to use them so i really want to show this one off because it is stunning oh, there's this thing <laughs> so this is so we have <laughs> okay don't look at me just look at the collection we have some amazing brushes here oh i just noticed they're like gold handles these are my some of my favorite brushes if you don't know i have a brush collection with sigma so and it's like six of my favorite brushes but all multi-use so you can use them for different things and we have a palette. You know what, I'm just gonna take it out because this is hurting my arm. So we have these brushes here. These are some of my favorite. In front of me here are all my brushes and it's only, well, it's majority Sigma. Sigma has its, has its own collection. There's some from my Kit Co and some from Spectrum, but, Sig but Sigma have just the best of the brushes. It is there's literally one for everything and they're, they're so incredible. This is the Glow Kiss Highlighter Palette. Look, oh my God, my camera can't deal with it. <laughs> Look how incredible these are. There's a highlighter in here for everyone. And I know some people are like, when they get see palettes like this, they're kind of like, I'm not gonna be able to use any color, um, all the colors, but um, eyeshadows, you can pop them on, there's a trick you do with a lip, very, very useful. And then we have the Sigma Ambience Eyeshadow Palette. Sigma have one of the only brushes in eyeshadow palettes that I keep because they're actually good. I'm gonna go into the Globe Kiss Palette and take the first highlighter here, Flare. I'm actually gonna press that over. All right. Okay, let's take Aura, Aurora. <laughs> we'll take Aurora, which is the middle middle shade here. This is a tapered highlighter brush, again one of my favourites, because you can literally just go like this in the highlighter, tap off any excess, and look how soft it is. Can you hear that rain? It's so heavy. Very nice. I'm keeping this whole collection just so you know. You know what, summer's coming up, I think. It's just pouring with rain here. <laughs> But it's coming at some point, and I know people are gonna to wanna to see summer looks, so I'm keeping that for then. Going back to Trixie Cosmetics, I have I'm Baby Lip Gloss and High Ponytail Lip Gloss. Um, I don't think I chose the right colors. <laughs> so this is High Ponytail. I just took that off. I need to kind of 
So it says lip gloss, right? But it's almost like a, you know when you put on like a liquid lipstick and before it sets, it has that strange like sticky texture. What a weird texture. It's not bad. I know my face is probably like, oh, it's really bad. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's lip gloss though. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to jump in here and say something. When I was getting the image to put off a gloss to put in like the, you know, the bit where it's the website and you can see how much it is. I saw the picture and I was like, that looks really glossy compared to my one and compared to the texture. And so I went on YouTube and looked at a few reviews of the lip gloss texture. I am convinced there's something wrong <laughs> with the two I have because it wasn't glossy in any way. It felt like a matte lip cream and with a bit of shine, like shine pigment in it. So I'm gonna try and mix mine up a little bit and see how I get on for next time. But I don't think this is how they're meant to look. But I almost, I almost want more of a feel of gloss, but this is nice. Um, I'm gonna take this Sigma, I think it's called Brilliance from that one. I just give myself a little bit of moisture on top there. Yeah, go team. That's a nice um, together. <laughs> That's a nice together. Very weird, very strange. I like it, I like this. This color isn't me. I thought it was a little bit more browny pink online. It's, it's nice, but you know, I don't like pink. So I'm gonna keep these. I have many Sigma lip glosses. I know I like them, so I'm keeping these. You know what, maybe I do need a bit of blush now looking at it. So this is a blush <laughs> from Revolution Beauty. I got rid of a box, so I don't actually know what it's called, but I think it's called Wave. And it's a cream. It is a cream. You know what, I'm not gonna use my finger though. I'm gonna use the 005 Brushes by Joy. And I'm just gonna tap that into the pot here. Where are we here? Oh, very nice, very soft. So in real life, I'm looking at that and that's like, I'm like, that's way too much blush, but you can't actually see it on camera, can you? I think you can. Can you see it now? <laughs> it's so, it's so strong in real life. Okay, if the blush is looking how it looks on camera, then we're good. If it's looking how it looks in real life, <laughs> Then I've applied too much this in, make it a little bit more natural. I was gonna put powder on, but I actually quite like the way this foundation is sitting on my skin. Okay, I'm gonna finish up with some lashes and then we'll be done. So this is the finished look. I am wearing a Nova Lashes by Luna Beauty because these lashes, Luna Beauty lashes, listen, if you haven't yet, do it. Do it because you will, you will love them. What a great group of makeup. <laughs> great bunch of people all round good um i'd love to know your opinions below what you think of the products if you have them yourself do let me know let me know if you enjoy this kind of concept of like do we keep it do we not well thank you so much for joining me don't forget to follow me on tiktok twitter uh instagram subscribe here if you want to give me a thumbs up if you liked it if you didn't then give me a thumbs down why not um it's a new year thanks again i will see you very very soon bye